everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. Happy Black History Month, Read Soul Lit Month. As you can see, I'm wearing this fantastic t-shirt that was made by Dee Dee from Brand Girl Reading. Her celebrating her month-long read-along that happens every February. Um, I'm going to put the link uh, in the description box if you'd like to purchase this yourself or if you'd like to get a mug or her other merchandise that she provides, uh, I would recommend it. And if you do not follow Dee Dee's channel, please go check it out. It is a delight. She's one of my favorite booktubers and bookstagrammers. Um, and this is a wonderful reading initiative that she puts on every February. And she also has Patreon where she does a book club every month if you want even more of her great insight into what she reads. Um, so this month, what am I going to be reading? Well, the first book that is on my specific to um, Black History Month TBR is Sun is Sky by Jada Mayberry. Um, and this book is set in the Deep South um, and it follows Penny, I believe is our character. And she um, is not really living with her parents. She's living with her grandmother and is raised by her grandmother. And then um, some things are revealed about their family past and some secrets. And she's kind of entrusted with keeping these secrets. And so you're following her perspective through, through this. Um, and I think it's got some romance. I think it's got some family drama lineage stuff um, going on as well. So I am really fingers crossed that this book gets delivered to me. It is, as I'm filming this today, it's February 2nd and I still don't have the book. And this happened to me last year with uh, the Read Soul That Choice. I didn't get the book until the, uh, you know, uh, seven days before the end of the month and I was luckily able to read it in time to um, to watch the live show. Um, Dee Dee does amazing live shows and she's going to be doing one with Jada Mayberry about Sun Sky and um, so she has some other hosts that join her and she talks to the author as well. So it's a really great read along and there's lots happening. On, in, on books on Instagram um, around Read Soul Lit, so please um, check out her her account, uh, Brown Girl Reading, and then also the um, Read Soul Lit account. And and there's also a podcast. Okay, so Dee Dee's doing a podcast with another uh, bookstagrammer named Christy. I don't think she has a YouTube channel anymore, and. Um, I'm really, really excited about that. So I'm going to put the link in the description box for that as well. I think the first episode drops on February 3rd and then it comes out every other Wednesday after that. So very excited to hear all the things that they're going to read and chat about on their new podcast. Okay, so um, the rest of the books that I'm reading in February. So I had um, A Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyeyemi on my January TBR. It was part of my winter themed TBR and I did not get to it until the end of the month. So I'm still reading it. I'm going to be finishing it up in, um, in February for Black History. It just happens to coincide with Black History Month. Here is Helen Oyeyemi. Um, and I am enjoying it. Uh, this is a Snow White retelling and it's set in 1950s New York and um, Massachusetts, I believe. Um, and it's told from the perspective of Boy, uh, who is not a boy, but is named a boy. Um, and so, yeah, it's I'm, I'm not going to tell you more than that. I think that it's it's a good story to kind of f unravel before you as you're reading it. I don't think you should have too much uh, knowledge about it going in. It's got some quirkiness that I think is really entertaining and uh, so far so good. The other book that I'm reading for Black History Month is Seeing the Unspeakable, The Art of Kara Walker by Gwendolyn Dubois Shaw or I'm not sure in 
in Canada, you would say Dubois. In the uh, United States, it looks like you say Du Bois. So I'll say it both ways in case that's how you would pronounce it. Um, this is a book about Kara Walker's art, as it just says. Um, and Kara Walker is a, you know, one of the top artists in the United States today. Uh, she was the youngest recipient, one of the youngest recipients of the MacArthur Genius Grant. She has shown at the Venice Biennale. She has shown in countless amazing places, the Modern Museum of Art, um, the Guggenheim, the Whitney. Um, and she uh, has, has many different um, things that she makes, like mediums that she works in as an artist. She does drawing. She does these amazing cutouts which are most often depict scenes from slavery and she's what she's trying to do is speak to the narrative of art history that left out these truths and these atrocities um through her these cutouts and shadows and so her work as you can imagine has been extremely controversial over the years um she has pushed boundaries um, and, and made people confront issues that they just don't want to confront and that they want to pretend didn't exist. She is also an artist's mother. Um, I'm very, very excited to read this. This is from Duke University Press, and um, I think this is really an analysis of her work. I don't think this is a survey of her life. So I just want to make sure that if you were interested in purchasing this book that you didn't think it was a biography um, because I don't think it is. I think it's much more specific to her work and her place in art history and what she is trying, where she's trying to land in art history and what she's trying to unve uh, reveal about art history uh, through her own work. So very excited to do this. And I'm also leading this um, book uh, discussion on the Artist Mother Network that I belong to in our book club there. And the uh, I'm going to be listening to two audiobooks on my Black History Month TBR. The first one is Passing by Nella Larson and I'm listening to the version on Spotify that is narrated by Bonnie Turpin. I love Bonnie Turpin's narration so very excited to listen to this. This is Nella Larson was a Harlem Renaissance writer in 1920s Harlem. Um, this book is about um, being fair-skinned in the African-American community and um, I believe one person um, is is trying to live their her life as a white being passing for white and then another person is more immersed in the black community and she's contrasting those two people um, so I just started it so that's about as far as I've gotten so far very very interested to read this this is a, you know a classic and um, I I believe this will be my first time reading any um, Harlem Renaissance writers so very excited to dive in there and um, the last book I'm going to listen to for um, Black History Month is Hood Feminism by Mickey Kendall. And this is, um, you know, a, a, a deconstruction of feminism from a black woman's perspective. And I'm all for that. I love reading different perspectives, deconstructing down, you know, how the movement has failed um, women in, from different places and trying to you know, make sure I'm challenging my own preconceived ideas about feminism from my white perspective. And so really excited. This book has um, had many positive comments about it from anyone I've known who's read it. So I'm really excited to read it myself. Okay, and so the other reading I'm going to be doing in February is for the Booktube Prize. And I haven't picked up my books from the library yet, but they are waiting for me. Um, Unfortunately, the group that I got didn't contain even one book that I had voted for that I wanted to read. Um, I, it did contain a couple that I put as maybes, so we're going to have to hope that those uh, go over well. Okay, so um, the three that I think I'm going to be reading this month are Strange Beasts of China by Yan Ji and um, 
this book is about a person working in a museum who starts doing some research about these beasts and then it kind of takes you on a magical mystical journey so that sounds really intriguing and interesting oh and i forgot to get the names of the translators for these works um, i am reading in the translated fiction category so i'm going to put the names of the translators below here as i say um, the names of the authors and then i will also of course link them uh, down below or write them out down below so that you can read them there as well the next book is loop by brenda lozano um, that one, I believe, is a love story. There's two books in here that are love stories, and I'm trying to remember which one is which. Um, and I can't right now. So, Loop by Brenda Lozano. Don't know that much about it. <laughs> I can't really remember right now. Um, and then the other one that I have on hold as an um, ebook, and so it may come up during the month of February, and if it does, then I'll probably start reading it right away, is Where You Come From by Sasha Stanchik, and hopefully I pronounced his name properly. Um, and this book is uh, about a family who is fleeing uh, Yugoslavia, I believe, and settle in Germany, and it's about home, and it's about where where your place is in the world, and um, displacement, and it ha looks like it has some fantastic reviews in the original German version, so I'm very interested in reading this. It's apparently very experimental, um, which could mean it's great, and it could mean I don't like it, so we'll see. Um, and just so you know, I won't be reviewing those books in my February wrap up. In case you're new, Book Two Prize judges are required to wait until after the judging results have been submitted to reveal their thoughts and feelings about the books that they're reading. So I am going to be making individual, or I will probably be making two vlogs. Um, one, in, well, the first one including the first three books and the second one including the second three books and then you'll be able to hear all my thoughts about those books once I uh, release those at the end of the round which is at the end of March. So it is a long time to wait but hopefully it'll be worth the wait for you. So that is my TBR for February. It's a little bit disjointed because of uh, Book 2 Prize reading but I am really looking forward to reading a lot of translated fiction this year. I think it's going to be um, really enriching and like push me beyond my typical reading comfort. And uh, I will be back again soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Dee Dee's um, merch and get yourself a t-shirt and um, support this wonder her wonderful initiatives and read some great um, literature or nonfiction by black authors and about black history this month. And I will see you again very soon.